We've had a 3.8 earthquake striking the Spain-France border at the Pyrenees Mountains. Most of that area is National Park uh, of France on the Pyrenees Mountains, but uh, as we know, the mountains are there uh, because of the uh, past geological activity. Right there, the border of southern France with northern Spain. This is today's activity. It was felt, reported by, to USGS, felt by 16 people. Now, the um, area is about Ferrara, Spain. It's about 6.8 kilometers in depth. The tectonic summary, this is the area of the African plate coming into and smashing into the uh, Eurasian plate and closer of the Mediterranean Sea. The Mediterranean region seismically active due to the northward convergence, 4 to 10 millimeters per year of the African plate with respect to the Eurasian plate along a complex plate boundary. And this convergence began about 50 million years ago and was associated with the closure of the Tethys Sea. The modern day remnant of the Tethys Sea is the Mediterranean Sea. And the highest rates of seismicity in the Mediterranean region are found along the Greek area Hellenic subduction zone of southern Greece along the North Anatolian fault zone of western Turkey and the Calabrian subduction zone of southern Italy. Local high rates of convergence at the Hellenic subduction zone, which is an arc of full of volcanoes, which has been pretty active the past two years uh, with four or five, five and a half, close to six magnitude earthquakes. And it's inflating with magma there, as we know. The Hellenic subduction zone is uh, moving at 35 millimeters a year, so that's pretty fast, and is associated with back arc spreading throughout Greece and western Turkey, above the subducting Mediterranean oceanic crust. Crustal normal faulting throughout this region is a manifestation of extensional tectonics associated with back arc spreading. Now we've had, uh, the next video will be on the Great Rift Valley of Africa, the eastern area of Africa, and uh, that's have had a lot of uh, earthquakes recently from the south up to the north, and that uh, that fault goes into the Jor the Jordan Trans uh, Transjordanian fault going through Israel and up into Galilee, and Galilee, as we said before, is a volcanic lake. But that's the uh, upcoming video after this one. So um, this area also, we've I've had recent earthquakes around the area of the uh, Atlas Mountains of Morocco. Now the region here, the region of Marara, of uh, the Sea of Marara in Turkey, transition zone between extensional region to the west and strike slip regime, which gives pretty very, very big earthquakes. The North Anatolian Fault accommodate much of the right lateral horizontal motion of 23 to 24 millimeters a year, so that's pretty fast as well. Between the Anatolian microplate and Eurasian plate, as the Anatolian microplate being pushed west to further accommodate closure of the Mediterranean basin, caused by the collision of the African and Arabian plates in southeastern Turkey. Subduction of the Mediterranean seafloor beneath the Tyrrhenian Sea and the Calabrian subduction zone of Italy causes significant zone of seismicity around Sicily in southern Italy where we have the uh, Mount Vesuvius and uh, Mount Etna and the various uh, all right super volcanoes there um, in the uh, area of Italy. Now the um, Anatolian microplate, Eurasian plate as the Anatolian microplate being pushed westward to accommodate closure of the Mediterranean basin causing the collision of the African and Arabian plates in southern eastern Turkey, subduction of Mediterranean beneath Tyrrhenian Sea and Calabrian subduction zone, causing the significant zone of seismicity around Sicily and southern Italy, active volcanoes located above intermediate depth earthquakes in the Cyclades uh, in, uh, and Aegean Sea and, and, and in southern Italy. In the Mediterranean region, there was written record several centuries long documenting pre-instrumental seismicity pre-20th century. Earthquakes have historically caused widespread damage across central and southern Greece, Cyprus. We've recently had a Cyprus 4.5 yesterday. Cyprus, Sicily, Crete, 
the Nile Delta, northern Libya, the Atlas Mountains of North Africa, and the uh, Iberian Peninsula of Spain. In 1903, a magnitude 8.2 Kithira earthquake, that's uh, just south of the Peloponnese, between the Peloponnese and Crete. 1903, magnitude 8.2. And in 1926, magnitude 7.8 in Rhodes. Earthquakes are the largest instrumentally recorded Mediterranean quakes, both of which are associated with subduction zone tectonics. Between 1993 and 1999, a series of devastating seven plus magnet strike slip earthquakes propagated westward along the North Anatolia fault zone, beginning with the 1939 magnitude 7.8 Erzincan earthquake on the eastern end of North Anatolia and Turkey, and the 1999 7.6 Izmit earthquake, and about three weeks later we had one in Athens too, the seven magnitude, located on the western end of the fault. It struck one of Turkey's most densely populated and industrialized urban areas. Now, although seismicity rates are comparatively low along the northern margin of the African continent, larger destructive earthquakes have been recorded and reported from Morocco in the Western Mediterranean to the Dead Sea in the Eastern Mediterranean, that's of course in, in Israel, in 19, the 1980 magnitude 7.3 El Asnam earthquake was one of Africa's largest and most destructive earthquakes within the 20th century. Large earthquakes throughout the Mediterranean region have also been known to produce significant and damaging tsunamis one of the more prominent historical earthquakes within the region is the Lisbon earthquake, November 1st, 1755, whose magnitude has been estimated from non-instrumental data to be about eight magnitude. The 1755 Lisbon earthquake is thought to have occurred within or near the Azores Gibraltar transform fault, which defines the boundary between Africa and Eurasian plates off the west coast of Morocco and Portugal. The earthquake is notable for both a large death toll of about 60,000 and for generating a tsunami that swept up the Portuguese coast, inundating coastal villages and also Lisbon, which is on the coast as we know, an earthquake of approximately 8 magnitude near Sicily in 1693, generated a large tsunami wave that destroyed numerous towns along Sicily's east coast, the 7.2 December 28, 1908 Messina earthquake is the deadliest documented European earthquake, 7.2. The combination of severe ground shaking and local tsunami caused an estimate of 60 to 120,000 fatalities. So uh, we see that we have uh, strong earthquakes in Europe as well, which is very unusual. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box 